Hi YouTubers, this is your Ems and in one of my previous videos I built these uh, two breakout boards for programming ATtiny10 and ATtiny5 microcontrollers and today I'm going to show you how to connect to them. And here it is, yeah. On the right, you can see an USB ASP programmer, which I'm going to use for programming 80, 10, 4, 5, 9, and 10 microcontrollers. This one is 80, 10, 5, and this one is 80, 10, 10, which is already connected to the programmer. Yeah. On the opposite side of the programmer, you can see labels for pins. Yeah. The important thing to know that the programmer must be upgraded to the latest firmware otherwise it won't work yeah and if you don't know how to use it please watch my previous videos yeah where i explain how to use it and this is a diagram how to connect uh, the programmer to the microcontroller yeah it's the same for 80 tiny 4 5 9 and 10 yeah these four microcontrollers are special because they use for programming TPI communication protocol instead of SPI yeah we normally use for programming AVR microcontrollers and uh, now you know how to connect the programmer to this breakout board so I'm ready for testing the connection yeah so as a first I'm going to test uh, the AT tiny 10 for programming these uh, microcontrollers I use AVR Dude in version 6.3 yeah if you want to use it uh, like me in this video uh, you should have installed uh, AVR toolchain I installed just Arduino ID which uh, contains uh, this AVR toolchain yeah and AVR Dude is also included I also added uh, these two directories to the path environment variable to have access to AVR dude from any directory and also I need to have access from any directory to AVR dude configuration file and now I'm ready for testing the connection so I'm going to use AVR dude yeah for programming I'm using USB ASP programmer yeah I'm programming 80 tiny 10 and now I'm going to read the content of the flash from the microcontroller yeah and I'm going to store the content to this uh, test file yeah the last I means that it's hex file and and it seems that communication is successful and now I'm going to test the uh, writing I'm just changing R letter to W, yeah, which means write. And yeah, writing also works. AT Tiny 10 breakout board is uh, ready for programming. And now I'm going to test uh, AT Tiny 5 breakout board, yeah, which I built in one of my previous videos, yeah. You can watch it if you like and let's go for testing so the same like for 80 tiny 10 yeah i'm going to use avr dude so the first test is going to be read the flash yeah i'm just changing 80 tiny 10 to 80 tiny 5 yeah i'm going to read it and it also looks great and now i'm going to again test writing to the microcontroller and it also works perfectly yeah which is great and this way you can guys test the uh, connection yeah to AVR microcontrollers with TPI yeah communication protocol and in one of my next videos I'm going to show you how to write blink yeah program for these microcontrollers so i hope you have enjoyed this video and see you next time